Confluence tutorial. How to use Confluence step by step. Hey guys, today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with Confluence. Now, what exactly is the Confluence platform? Well, it is basically a platform where people can choose to work together. You can do project management and it is going to provide you with a workspace for your entire team where all of your knowledge and collaboration can be done in a simple and effective way. Now, there are multiple different templates available. So you can choose to get started with a template and set up your entire uh, project right away. Or you can tailor it to yourself and get started with a blank slate and then customize it however you want. Plus, with the uh, Confluence platform, you can integrate any other application. There are over 3,000 integrations uh, available for Confluence. So if you're using Slack or Teams or Drive or Dropbox, all of those can be directly linked to Confluence. Now, to get started, simply click on Get It Free on the uh, Confluence website, and then you can choose to sign up with your email address or continue with Google. We're going to continue on with Google over here. So once we've added a site name that we want to use, we're just going to click on continue over here to complete our sign up process. This process is absolutely free and that is something that you're not going to find with such powerful tools that Atlassian does provide you and Confluence. So once you have completed your sign up, we're going to wait a couple of seconds for the uh, website that you have created for yourself or for the platform, the workspace to be generated. Now, once this process has been completed, this is the pop-up that you will see. We can just skip this ahead and you can get started with the category of business that you are in. So what kind of work do you want to accomplish on the uh, Confluence platform? Let's say we want to work in project management or if you're working in market design operations, there are going to be multiple different templates that you can choose from. So you can click on next over here. And from here, you can copy this link and send it to your teammates, or you can also invite them via email as well. But we're going to continue on over here. And just like that, this is going to be your personal home dashboard. In your personal dashboard, you're going to find all of the tasks that you are working in and all of the workspaces that you are in. Then on the top, you have your workspaces. So you can click on create a space to get started with a new project and start setting it up. Next up, you have team. So you can click on create a team and you can add multiple people in that. And then whenever you are creating new spaces, you can automatically choose that entire team and that entire team would be added to that Confluence uh, workspace. Now, next up, you have application integrations and templates. Now, there are a few templates that you can get started with. So let's just browse. Now, you have a one-on-one -on -one meeting template, a for a retrospective business template, uh, you have a capacity planning, daily stand-up, customer interview report, creative brief. So there are quite a few different ones that you can get started with. It's totally up to you how you want to get started. But let's first off click on create a new space and then you will get the option. So we have blank if it's a team space, if it's a documentation space, so kind of like a knowledge base. And then you have a separate knowledge base. You have a software project, a project management, IT, product marketing, uh, finance, legal operations, sales. So these are going to be super customized. Now, the best part about using something like Confluence is that not only can you do things like manage your business or uh you know set up your workspace or project management space but important and integral parts like knowledge bases sales trackers all of that can be done directly over here so let's say we want to get started with a uh, project management board or maybe we want to get started with a sales board i think sales is going to look better so we're going to continue on over here and you are going to name your space and sales and then you have some additional options and you can use a, a key to identify the space and then you also have some icons you can click on the icon to get a different one so let's say we want to just do this one and then i will just click on create space 
So once the space has been created, this is what you're going to see, a overview, a blog, a space settings, and pages. So you guys can see if I go into the Dirt and Sales overview section, you will see welcome to the team space. We have added some example pages. Obviously, I'm going to just cut that out. So you have all of this. Now below that, uh, we have our actual mission. So what's your team mission? You can enter it over here. Uh, your uh, meet the team, your sales goals, your meeting notes, your team notes. So what you're going to do is you can just click on edit over here and then you can get started with editing the space however you want. So I am going to delete this section over here, delete the header image. I don't want any image. I just want to directly go into the mission, which is... So let's say this is for an e-commerce store and obviously making sales is the main goal, but let's say we want to focus on uh, selling the new summer collection so I can add that as a mission. Then you have a meet the team section. I don't want a meet the team section, so I'm going to delete it. If you want, you can keep it as well. We're just going to remove it from here. Then you have your sales goal. So you can click on link to dashboard and you can add properties to these cells. So what you can do is that you can choose to import data from a specific area as well and you have in track off track where you can label it instead of linking it and then you have notes so let's say our goal is to get a hundred thousand sales before july and then you have your recent wins now for a sales section i would remove this now because this is a sales workspace i'm going to remove this section which is the recent wins then I have my contact page, which I don't really need. So I can uh, close this up and I can just make this into a single column like this. I can just choose to delete this one from here like so. And if I want to add any other page, I can do that as well. Or I can simply click on delete over here to delete the entire cluster. Then I have some team goals, meeting notes, onboarding FAQs as well. Now, once you have your basic page ready, you can just click on publish over here to complete the page uh, edit. Now, next up, you can select a different page. So this is our business review page. It's Q1, Q2, OKR priorities. Then in the template, we have a sales planning, so overviews. Then we also have our sales portal. So you guys can customize it however you want to add relevant information to your business project or to your data. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with creating your own team portal with uh, Confluence. It's super easy, efficient, and it works for all kinds of industries and all kinds of niches. So anywhere from a knowledge base to a sales manager to a project manager, all of it can be done all on one platform of Confluence. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.